I actually almost didn't release it. Um, you know, there's still things that I have to try, but did this person really mean all of the words that they said to me? I think you're pretty new to the Malaysian audience. So could you introduce me to Luke Chen? Yeah, my name is Luke. I am a Taiwanese American singer songwriter. I play multiple instruments. I play guitar, bass, piano, and I love R&B and soul. So that's kind of where I take inspiration from my songs. Okay. And do you have any random facts that the fans might be surprised to hear about Luke Chen? Oh man, I like drawing. I like sketching a lot. Uh, just little like cartoonish characters. I don't know. Besides that, in music, I don't know if there's much about me. It's very interesting but no <laughs> All right, I was gonna say like you're you're a little bit mysterious because you're not hugely active active on social media. I think you have like a handful of videos on TikTok. It's not that far to scroll on Instagram. So what do you do with all that time that you're not scrolling? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I just kind of live a normal life. <laughs> I go to school and I do my homework and do my chores and just you know whatever hobbies on the side, spend time with friends. Yeah. Oh, okay, so you don't post a lot, but I are, are you yeah. usually on online? I am usually online. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> honestly, if you took social media away from me, I'd be like, what am I doing with my day? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, but you made a song, um, you put it out in 2019, and it's currently going viral. It's called Shouldn't Be. Why do you think it's suddenly getting so much attention, though? I couldn't tell you. I have no idea, to be honest. Maybe a part of it is just quarantine, as a lot of people sad or something, but <laughs> yeah. When when did you first realize that it was starting to pick up? Um, Probably like a month after I released it. In my only like my first few months of even being like my own artist, um, it got like 100k in like a week or so. And I was like, this is maybe this is something special. I actually almost didn't release it because I didn't really like it when I first recorded it. I was like, I don't know if this is good, but yeah, now it's apparently my biggest song. So there you go. I feel like a lot of artists go through that. Like they're like, I didn't even like this one, but this is the yeah, one it's, that it's like really they good. have to sing every single day for the rest of their yeah, life. Sure. Okay, and it's blowing up over here in Southeast Asia in particular. Have you ever been to this side of the world? Only to Taiwan. I'm Taiwanese. Okay. so. Uh, I've gone back to Taiwan four or five times, but other than that, I haven't. Okay, okay. So um, how often do you go back? Obviously, recently I haven't because of COVID, but mm -hmm. before that, um, go back like every two to three years since being a kid. Okay, okay. I love mm -hmm. Taiwan, so... Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but with, with the song Shouldn't Be, was it inspired by a real life situation? Yeah, it's kind of based on this idea of like a relationship that ends very abruptly. And um, it's this idea of like how or like did this person really mean all of the words that they said to me um if they can cut me off this easily and that's kind of where all the verses centralized around was it an easy song to write yeah i'd say so mainly because i would write to heal um so it was just kind of like a natural process so all the words just kind of spilled out on paper yeah does the person that you wrote it about know that it's about them i don't know I, probably but I, I have no i have no ill will <laughs> against them i mean it was like what high school senior year so it's like we're both we've both grown a lot and we're both different now so you know it's all cool and speaking of real life situations i want to play like a little game mm. it's called shouldn't be luke <laughs> okay okay so i'll just um ask like a question and then you kind of just fill in the, the blank i guess okay all right luke chang shouldn't be eating so much i don't know i think i'm actually pretty healthy now so i don't really have one you do you have a, a favorite food that you indulge in too much uh maybe sushi there's a lot mm. of sodium in the soy sauce okay okay lu chang shouldn't be listening to blank on repeat like that uh edm i can't cool. do it okay um luke chang shouldn't be planning blank as his next tiktok video whatever idea that i have is probably stupid so whatever <laughs> idea i have obviously i just came out of your last TikTok video which got a lot of it got a lot of um uh, comments <laughs> Yeah, TikTok is kind of my my little mess around platform, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, last one. Lu Chang shouldn't be holding back the name of his next single, which is. Uh, I do not know. That is a work in progress. Do you have anything that that you're you're working on? Yeah, uh, I've written a lot of songs um, over hiatus. Obviously, I haven't released in a while because of some health stuff. But mm -hmm. yeah, there's probably like twenty to thirty songs that I have just written, just kind of sitting around. Okay, okay. So can we expect anything coming this year, or is there an album? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It's just kind of based on uh, like my recovery process, how long it takes for my treatment plan on medicine, because I have some like throat um, issues 
with singing, but oh, okay. uh, I'd like to try to sing again soon. Um, I've only been recently easing back into talking more, uh, so singing is hopefully going to follow from that. Basically, like a year and a half ago, I started getting a lot of like severe acid reflux and it would come up to my throat. I'm at a point where I've you know tried several different treatments and different lifestyle changes and it still hasn't gotten better, which is okay. Um, you know, there's still things that I have to try, but at least it's at a point where I can kind of uh, keep it in like keep it suppressed so it's not like terrible okay yeah. so you've been writing a lot but not recording a lot mm. at this point mm. okay all right well i hope that um you get to record and i don't know how you record maybe going to the studio sometime soon yeah i appreciate it yeah and once the borders are open hopefully you'll get to come over to southeast asia because yeah i would love to i would love to we would love to see you perform mm.